Jerkman's Grill production, Secret of Authentic Jerk. All right, guess what? As I make the next video of the top 10, top 10 most authentic jerk chicken. Did I say authentic jerk chicken recipe that I see on YouTube? And trust me, they, oh my God, there's so many of them. It's taken me a couple of days just to go through them. Oh my God, there's so many recipes that I see on jerk chicken recipe. How do you know that you're tasting the right one? <laughs> anyway, I noticed something else while I was making this video. And I noticed that everyone, a lot of persons are doing it the hard way. Oh my God, they're making the season the hard way. Now, I know you're just doing it for um, yourself or maybe just some friends in the backyard. You know what I'm saying? But suppose somebody enjoy what you're doing and ask you to do it for a whole event, for a church. Or maybe they ask you to do it like what they did me. They asked me to make 700 to 1,000 pounds of chicken for the next day. What are you going to do? Oh my God. So I'm going to teach you four simple ways of how to make jerk seasoning. Oh my God. A lot of persons are just putting too much and they're doing too much because you're rough chopping your fingers off. Oh my God. Everybody's talking about rough chopping when you're rough chopping too much. You're rough chopping too much. So here, trust me, I'm, I have a lot of experience doing this. I used to, uh, me and my father used to um, season a whole lot of chicken and, uh, and, and and the bone and season a whole lot of hog whole hog too for events and for we used to sell it weekly so i'm just going to give you some tips to make it more easier so you can enjoy the process and trust me if you're doing it the way you guys are doing you're not going to enjoy it anymore you're going to stop doing it. and i want you to keep jerking that nice delicious jerk chicken a nice delicious jerk pork so here are four top ways to make it more easy on how to prepare your jerk seasoning like and subscribe German's Grill Production I'm all about jerk I'm all about jerk German's Grill Production Seek it for authentic jerk You think you know But I thought you guys know But you don't <laughs> We got the pork, chicken, the fish, the lobster Festival, roast bread, food, sweet potato Roast, yeah oh, But the other Boston jerk is down there, right? Huh? The other Boston jerk is down there What is the original Boston jerk? Oh, okay Number four so number four have evolved by experience over the argument over the blender yes in my family my mother's always arguing with my father and me over the blender you know you know we, we've been through many blenders we have destroyed so many blenders making jerk season and trust me it's a big army argument over the blender so my mom She's, she's the one who is always finding new stuff for us. She's always finding new ideas for us. So she went online and she found something which is number four called the food processor. And trust me, if you are serious about jerk, making jerk seasoning, you need to get a food processor. Trust me, here are other videos kind of demonstrating what the food processor is. But trust me, it's going to, your hand is going to save you. Your hand is going to thank you. Your, your blender is going to thank you. Believe you me. And you heard that ring. Boom. You will need to get a food processor. If you are. I mean, I know if you're just doing it by yourself. Go ahead with your rough chopping. And, but if you're, you know, there's time when somebody's going to enjoy what you're doing. And they're going to want you to do it on a big scale. I'm just trying to prepare from now. Get a food processor and this you're going to put all your season in there like your your um your 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 onions you're probably gonna have to cut it one time your ginger cut it one time and your thyme cut it one time just put it in there it's going to make life way easier and more enjoyable trust me use the food processor and it's going to save you from that rough chopping it's going to do all that rough chopping for you so believe me just me use the food processor and you, you, they're very reasonable nowadays you know you're not expensive like when we first started it's way cheaper now different brands and believe me they're not paying me to, to say this they're not giving me any money as a matter of fact i'm not mentioning any brand i just say get 
a food processor. And trust me, your life is good. You're going to enjoy it way better than making jerk. Jerk is like a therapy, man. You need to go and get you a food processor. But you're not going to put the main ingredient, the star of the show, which is the pimento berries. You're not going to put that in there. That is number three. Number three. All right. So now, oh, man. Now we're getting real down into it. Now it's real spice. Oh, man. The king of the show. The star of the show. And that is the pimento or spice. Now, you need to get... And trust me, I'm saying this because I've been watching a whole lot of videos to create the top 10 jerk chicken recipe. And trust me, I see a whole lot of everybody's using, uh, putting that um, all spice berries in the blender. Oh man, there must be a lot of argument in the family. And trust me, we have had that. I have had that with my sister and my mother. Big argument over the blender because they need to make their smoothie. And it blender is broken <laughs> so guess what the next one is a coffee grinder you need a coffee grinder trust me and the best way the best best way to, to make that 100 percent flavor is to use the berries i know there's somebody going to say ah well i don't use berries i just use the powder no and if you haven't seen my video on the on top um, um, all spice or pimento berries out there in the supermarket you need to go watch that and I found out that the powder has less flavor now that's okay if you're making some cakes or stuff but when it comes to jerk you want the best flavor the best thing to use the berries and the best best berry is the Jamaican berries trust me go and watch that video and believe me I went out there and go to this I'm gonna give you an example go to the supermarket and open a buckle if you're in America, go on the buckle and take a whip or smell of the pimento berries over here. It's going to be terrible. But trust me, the Jamaican berries, just the bag, even without opening it, has a real delicious smell. Because the original jerk pimentos, really the original pimentos from Jamaica, oh my God, is so, so delicious and the aroma is so smell. That's why... It's important to use the berries, not the powder, when you're making the jerk season. So it's important to buy the berries and get a coffee grinder. Put them in there. The best brand to get is the Hamilton um, coffee grinder. They're not promoting me again. I mean, they're not giving me money. You know, I'm just saying this because so far they are. It's the best brand to use, the Hamilton coffee grinder. And trust me. It, it, it makes it in powders in seconds and it's so it's just powerful and just put it right there incorporate it now into the um all that um season that you blend up in the um in the in the um grinder in the processor the food processor just combine them together and this leads me to number, number two. two all right so um you started with a food processor and then you use a coffee grinder. No, it's a real deal. No, you use the blender. Now is the time you use the blender. But first you need to add your liquids, like your oil and your vinegar. All the liquids first in the bottom. Then you incorporate the, um, the, the pimento powder and, the, and all that seasoning delicious season from the uh, food processor in your blender then you blend it trust me your blender will thank you your rough chopping hand will thank you and trust me your wife or husband can now make their smoothie oh my god and, and you're gonna have a blender that lasts forever it could be the cheapest blender you find at dollar tree trust me it's gonna last forever believe me try this process I mean, and they're not so expensive, you know. So go and check it out. Try this method. It's going to make things way easier. And you can make way more jerk seasoning. If somebody asks you to do something for like an uh, event, a jerk function, or maybe you have a stall at a jerk festival, believe me, it's going to make it, your life so much easier. Now, here's a perfect video of um, making real best authentic jerk chicken. 
of a maroon doing it and you know people do it to save electricity you know they know I have electric in the area and it's just the way they used to do it you know and they so they just they used to doing it that way so they kept doing it but today they have so much technology that can make it so much easier but again some people just stick to the past they don't like to try new things they don't like new gadgets or maybe don't have the electricity or you know or they try to save an electric bill but guess what go and check out these videos and this is the original way of making jerk chicken jerk seasoning and um go and check it out and and the number one the number one oh my god <laughs> oh my god making jerk seasoned easiest way is just to buy a bottle of jerk seasoning <laughs> it's that simple guys just buy a bottle of jerk seasoning oh my god i'm gonna tell you i've been watching a whole lot of these videos and everyone is just using the bottle of jerk seasoning say they buy a, a bottle of walkers wood jerk seasoning put two caps in there and stuff but guess what then they go to the store and buy all the ingredients already in the jerk bottle oh my god i don't understand how people are thinking all you need is that bottle of jerk seasoning it's done already done for you go and watch my top 10 top 10 jerk season in the supermarket and trust me i've tried over 30 odd and more jerk season all i do is pour it on there go and watch my video and trust me i put it on there and it's so delicious even persons on who tried it say man it's so delicious and i don't put anything else in there all i do is pour the jerk season on there i know some people the only way i could think about if they do it is if they, it's on a large scale as i said like somebody asked me to make 700 pounds then you're gonna have to stretch it you're gonna have to stretch it with some other season because for you to buy so many seasons it's gonna cost a lot of money but some of us are just doing it for yourself and just doing it for some friends in the backyard no all you need to do is just get a bottle of jerk seasoning pour it on there you don't need nothing else that's it <laughs> also some person says it's too spicy there's mild versions you know, I, I don't understand what you guys are doing. But, you know, I guess it's experience and you don't understand. So, that is why I am here to tell you the easiest way, the number one easiest way to uh, make your jerk. Um, easiest way, just get a bottle of jerk season. You don't need nothing. Yet. You don't need to buy nothing. Nothing. Just put it on there, rub it in there and grill it. That's it. <laughs> oh, my God. And guess what? There's even an easier way of doing it. But I was told not to tell you. Uh, but keep liking and subscribing. And you don't have to use a blender. You don't have to use a food processor. You don't you have to use a bottle of seasons. It's an easier, even an easier way of doing it. But I want you to like and subscribe and watch my videos. And I'm going to reveal it to you. I'm all about jerk. I'm all about jerk. Jerk was great for duck.